what are all the things you're focusing on that the fans need to be thinking about? Yeah, the about? Bills are not playing their best football right now, and it's a bad time not to be playing well, right? Uh, their defense, the fundamentals, those basic things that we see a Sean McDermott defense, they're struggling with. They're missing tackles, and that's going to be part of their focus this week against Joe Burrow. But let's just go back to when these two teams played each other just a few weeks ago after having a few conversations with both sides, with Cincy and Buffalo both believed that the Cincinnati Bengals were dominating the Bills, especially on offense. So in terms of the mental side, the confidence headed into this game, I give it to Cincy right now in terms of the edge. They feel like they've got this Bills number, whereas the Bills right now are trying to get back to the Bills that we saw four or five weeks ago because what we've seen the last two weeks, that is not going to get the job done against Joe Burrow. But to be clear, for anyone who doesn't know what Diane is talking about, these teams met on January 2nd. That was the game that was canceled uh, midway through because of the injury, the very scary situation involving mm -hmm. DeMar Hamlin. But they did get to play some football before that happened. Yes. And, yes, the Bengals looked like they were the better team. Before I, We could put the picks up on the screen, but RC, give it to me. It, it feels – I mean, the Bills coming into this season were so many people's pick. Uh, but I know you have been riding yeah, Cincinnati now for the last two months. Go. Why, why do you like the Bengals? Yeah, well, when you look at Cincinnati and what they could do defensively, go back to the quarterback sneak, the play by Logan Wilson, the scoop and score by Sam Hubbard. That was the play that absolutely changed that game. And Cam Taylor Britt, the new, the, the second round corner that was drafted, stepping in for Chitobi Awuzie. And what they can do with all the different ways Lou Anarumo uses this defense to not only pressure quarterbacks, but to give them full pressure and drop it to zone looks. Is Josh Allen going to take the check down? Is Josh Allen going to take the easy play? And then offensively, when you look at T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, and Jamar Chase, and Joe Burrow. And we talk about it all the time on Monday. Joe Burrow always seems to know exactly what to do against each team. He is, to me, the best player playing at playing the quarterback position, not mm. the best quarterback. He understands where the check down is. He understands where the holes in the defense. He knows when to take sacks, and he knows when to push the football and try to make extra plays. I love what this team can do. I believe their experience in winning in the playoffs the last two years gives them confidence and also that start against Buffalo on that Monday night. You know, Nico, I'm surprised to see the Bengals under your name. Since before, the, you're with me every week. Yep. Since before the season, you've been riding Buffalo, you've been riding Josh Allen. Why'd you change your mind? <sighs> I, I feel like kind of what Dan was saying, they're, they're not playing their best football right now, and they're turning the football over. You watch that Miami game, there was, there was a bunch of plays where I'm scratching my head like, this is bad football. This is not playoff football. Um, and then you look at the Cincinnati defense, they have something that the Bills lost this year, and that's a pass rush. Mm -hmm. You know, they lost Von Miller, a guy that they brought in to be the guy in the playoffs to get to the quarterback. You look at Cincinnati, they have Trey Hendrickson, they have uh, Sam Hubbard, they have two defensive ends that are really good at, at yeah. getting after the quarterback. So Josh Allen, he's been great, but I, I really like Cincinnati. I think they're doing a great job, and, and they're really on the ascending point of their, in the playoffs. They're going up, and I feel like the Bills are kind of hovering to, to de descending. Super quick. Oh, I'm sorry. It looked like you, you wanted to chime oh. in on that. It, it's worth, it might be worth mentioning very, very briefly. This has nothing to do with anything. <clears throat> if that game had been played to its conclusion and the Bengals had won, yeah. a lot of things would be yes. different. Yeah. Right now. Where different. these games would be being played mm -hmm. and everything else would be very different. So we'll see how all this plays out. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.